at seven o'clock again we got eastern michigan uh one of the only un <laughs> they're another team that has a good chance of being eliminated from playoff contention again and mac could again only be down to toledo after this week if if uh a mac team doesn't pull off an upset going against ul lafayette traveling to ul lafayette uh ul lafayette started off its season with a victory um UL Lafayette favored by 11.5 points on NFL Network. Taylor Powell, the quarterback for Eastern Michigan last week, went 21 of 30, threw for 271 yards, three touchdowns to one interception. Um, and Samson Evans had 15 carries for 89 yards and two touchdowns. Dylan Drummond uh, had four catches for 62 yards. Chandler Fields, the quarterback for UL Lafayette, went 13 to 20 last week, threw for 173 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, 65% completion percentage. Very effective through the air. Uh, Terrence Williams had 10 carries for 61 yards. And Johnny Lumpkin. It's a funny name. Uh, had five catches for 72 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Eastern Michigan's 1-1 one one against UL Lafayette all the time. Last game went to UL Lafayette in 2006. Both home teams have won the ma their respective matchup when these two teams have played each other. Whether it's Eastern Michigan or UL Lafayette, whoever is at home has won in the past two matchups. Uh, UL Lafayette's at home here, so we'll see what happens here. Again, uh, UL Lafayette is a personal favorite of mine simply because our head, new head coach is Billy Napier. I really respect what he's done with the program, and I really hope that it succeeds without him. The Raging Cajuns were one of the first football teams I've ever watched. Obviously, the first game I ever watched, if you did not know, is Old Dominion Western Kentucky, back when I believe Western Kentucky's quarterback was, in fact, Mike White. If you didn't know, he's the, one of the backup quarterbacks for the Jets. I'm not positive, but I think it might have overlapped with when Taylor Heineke was the quarterback at Old Dominion. Um... Honestly, it was a great first football game to watch. It might not have been super impactful to the playoff picture, but man, was it a fun football game. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. Both those teams looked really great. Uh, UL Lafayette's interesting. The Raging Cajuns are an interesting football team, to say the very least. They're good. They're really good. But UL Lafayette, it's their first real game without Billy Napier. This is, this is a game that Billy Napier would have been very helpful in having. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Eastern Michigan's a good squad. Uh, the Eagles are good. Um, but I'm going to go Yola Lafayette here. I like the Raging Cajuns to win, and cover, but, win but Eastern Michigan to keep it close and cover that 11.5 point spread.